Hello everybody, this is Gecko, and I forgot to record my video. Oh my goodness, I just played like four or five games, and they went pretty well. I did lose one, but god goodness, I can't believe I forgot to hit the record button of all things. Well, let's get started then. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Gecko. Uh, today we're playing 1v1 games, if you couldn't tell. Before we get into the 1v1 games, as always, like the video if you enjoy the content, subscribe so you don't miss any of the near daily content I have coming out, and be sure to join our amazing Discord community, which is growing quickly. There will be a link in the description below. I also want to thank McBain for giving me some really good tips and pointers that I could be using, and I will be trying my best to use them in this video. I'll explain what they are along the way. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. It is worth noting that while I was record or while I thought I was recording, in my first game that I played, I lost to somebody who had like 30 points and so I lost like almost 10 whole points off my ELL score. Okay, so we're going up against somebody with 21 points. We want to be going for as center as we can. So, I would go for like right here probably, but I'm waiting to see if my opponent places down their piece first. And I didn't I don't see them placing down their piece. I'm going for a 35% attack. Normally I would have done a 40, but uh, according to McBain, it'll be much more efficient to do a 35% attack. I'm also, as always, watching my bar up here, watching the white bars on each side. Those are your ticks. There's 10 ticks per cycle. At the 10th tick, you get your income payout. And so I'm trying to expand and finish expanding by the time I hit that income payout which the last cycle and this cycle I did not do very well on. So we're watching out for bots that are weak. And we also want to watch out for bots that we have a lot of surface area on, a, a large border with. The more of a border that you have with a bot, the easier it's going to be to take them over. Now our opponent is expanding quite quickly. There they are. I don't like to click that button while I'm trying to expand super quickly because it throws me off. So our opponent is growing pretty quickly. Staying pretty close to us in points, but we do have a pretty dominant lead right now at the same time. I should not have attacked that bot, so I'm gonna cancel that attack. I want to be looking out for weaker bots and ones that I have a large border with, like this one here. I'm going to go ahead and continue to move towards my opponent and work on blocking him off as best I can. He is touching me a pretty good amount right now, but I am not attacking him because we have about the same level of points. And I'm watching how many points I have relative to him before I attack. I don't want to accidentally spend too many points. And they forfeited. They could tell that there wasn't any way to be able to overcome me at this point, as I had easily three times the amount of land that they had. And unfortunately, I didn't give them a handshake. But at least we uh, recovered a few points, because I was at like 129 or 130 when I started earlier. But let's go ahead and jump out and see if we can recover some more points here. And we're off again. So we want to go as center as we can, which this would be about center. There's quite a cluster of bots going on there. I think I would go between these two bots, except for he went way up there. I'm gonna go, I think right here, maybe even right here actually. Lots of space to grow around. Be a lot easier to cut them off. We're gonna go down to 35%, watch our bar up here, expand at the halfway mark or so. And just take it slow, do it, do it the right way. Now our opponent is expanding quicker than we are, which I am a-okay with. We have lots of free land to grow into and they were surrounded by a bunch of bots, so I bet they're already kind of struggling with bots. Not really, I guess. I guess they got a fair bit to work with. Focus on mine. I'm going to reinforce my attack. Drop down to 10%. And we're going to wait a moment. Boy, he only has like a thousand points right now because he expanded way too quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit aggressive here. Because he's not going to be... It's, with the small amount of points that he has, his interest isn't going to help him out too much. We're staying way above him right now. He is doing okay with keeping up in land, but he just doesn't have the points. There's a chance... 
that he may leave, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a handshake now because he's pretty closed off now. We're going to go ahead and give him a good old 50% attack here. And give him another one. And give him another one. And even another one. Another one. No problem. He left the game because he knew it was over. All right, so that gets us another win. Let's go see if we can play one more and get ourselves back up to above 120 points on the scoring system. All right, we're going up against somebody who has 59 points. Lake, I think I recognize that name. I've probably seen them before. It shows an interesting location. Okay, there we go. I might go right next to him, like right here. And we're going to go down to 35%. Expand at the halfway mark. Just take it slow. Take it slow. I didn't expand at the right time there. That was also a little bit late. I'm going to reinforce my attack so that when his stops, I can hopefully squeeze around him. Yes, I can. That worked beautifully. We're going to drop down to about 10% here. We're going to wait. I would have liked to wait a bit longer, but he kind of forced my hand by immediately going after the bots around me. I'm going to go ahead and give him a good push here. And even once more. But then I'm going to drop back down. Start attacking bots again. If we get to double his score again, I'm going to push on him once more. He's holding up pretty well, but we're doing a pretty good job of blocking him off from land. Soon he's not going to have very much to work with. Once again, going after bots that have high surface area with us makes it easier to wipe them out more quickly. I'm going to give him a good push here. Take some of his land away from him. Got to make sure that he can't catch up in points. Got some big bots next to me now. But he is blocked off now. His only option really is to go island hopping around me down to the south. And that's not a very efficient idea. Now he has grown exceptionally high in points. So I'm going to lay off on doing any attacking right now. And let my interest rate take me up higher. I might go ahead and attack this bot while it's weak actually. Just gain me up all that extra land. And I'm going to go ahead and start pushing in on him now. Not too quickly. He is using a tactic which is pretty good where he's setting a ship across these little tiny ponds. Whenever you have a ship land in a specific spot, it'll spread from that spot. We're doing pretty good now. I'm going to go ahead and return fire on him. This is kind of how I lost the first game that I didn't record was I was in this pretty much the same position, but I ended up spending too many points and allowing them to get the upper advantage. So I'm being real careful not to let that happen this time. Even if he manages to send a ship over here, he's got nowhere to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him a handshake because at this rate, there is no way to stop us. And I can always respect an opponent that holds on till the bitter end. Oh, I gotta be careful with my points. That's kind of how I messed up before. I was so focused on some other task that I wasn't watching how many points I have relative to them. But it does look like I'm fine. And it's over. That puts us at 119.7 points. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's play one more. Win or lose, this will be the last game of the video. If you're still watching and you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss more daily content. Okay, so we're going up against somebody who has quite a lot of points right now. So it's going to be a real test on how much I've been learning. The center is going to be right around here. I'm probably going to go for right here. I did not see them place down their piece. I don't know where they are. I'm going to pay close, close attention to my attacks and my expansion. Try to get it just right. Trying to expand a little bit more than the halfway mark. It's kind of hard to explain, but I basically in the beginning, I probably want to get like the fifth or the sixth or even the seventh tick. After a few expansions, I want to get more like the fifth tick. And then towards the end, I probably want to get more like the fourth tick even. 
I'm going to drop my points down. If I need to, I can add a little bit more to help with the expansion, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need to. We got closed off beforehand anyways. Now I'm waiting for around 55 seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look. And you're over there, my goodness. Okay, what an interesting location for a skilled player. We want to do our best to just grow because of the location that they have chosen is a little bit hard to get to, but they're going to have to be spending a lot of time using ships and wasting points that way. Whereas, meanwhile, I'm able to just get right off in the get-go and expand as much as possible. I did let up on my attack because I don't want to touch him yet. I know he's going to be working up towards the top as well. I'm going to go ahead and give him a good push. Oh, geez, that was actually the wrong time. Okay, I do have significantly more land, but he is not that far away in points. Okay, so now the amount of land we have, I think that we can start moving in on him. And I want to attack him when we're getting near the end of the cycle. And he saw it was over. Oh my goodness. I was so nervous there. I bet that he didn't select a location fast enough. And that's why he ended up on that island over there. And decided that he was going to go ahead and continue on and give it a good shot anyways. And if I was a new player, he definitely still would have had the skills to take it over. But luckily, from all of my practice... And paying close attention here, I was able to fend off... I think this is actually the first time that I fended off somebody significantly higher in points than myself. So, I'm a little bit proud of myself right now. I'm never going to claim to be the best player at, the, at this game. Even in our community alone, let alone other communities, there are significantly way better players that I am really trying to learn from. Uh, but I have a long ways to go to have any of the skill that they do. I don't know if he's actually left or not yet. I'm going to give a handshake just in case. He's probably left. It's been a little bit, but uh, yeah, no, that was a ton of fun. And I'm so glad that we got that. Got us a little bit closer to what I was at before I lost to a, a really low leveled player. But that's going to do it for this video here. If you found this entertaining, don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the near daily content I have coming out. If you want to be a part of an awesome Discord community, click on the link in the description below. And I probably forgot to bring it up at the very beginning because of the way that this particular video started, but you may have noticed that the thumbnail I have has a country ball in it. The country ball was made by one of our viewers and really dedicated members of the community, Pizza11, and they have their own YouTube channel that deals with mapping and futuristic alternative timelines. There's some pretty interesting story dialogue going on there. You should definitely go check out their channel. There will be a link in the description below. But thanks again so much for being with me, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, toodaloo.